Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to add scratches and dust to your in Instagram filter. So first we need to get those scratches and dust created. We're gonna go to our YouTube, not to our YouTube, but just to YouTube. And let's Google old camera effect. And then you're going to pick the one you like the most. So I already picked mine. Let me show you how it plays here. So now I'm copying this link and I'm going to this website and I'm pasting this link here and clicking on this arrow. And then after that, I'm clicking I can see this video here and I'm clicking on download. It's in Russian. I'm going to give the link of this website. So the, this video got downloaded here. Show all. And now I need to create PNG files from it. I'm going to give link to this website also. So I'm clicking choose file and I'm picking the video that we just downloaded. Open. And I can see that old film overlay is um, the name of that video that I got downloaded here. So I click upload video. And we need to wait quite a bit because this uploader takes time. So by the way, I have my Instagram and I have lots of different filters there. So if you're curious, you should check it out. And also I have other tutorials about Spark AR, so I'm going to add uh, my list on top of this video, like uh, to my playlist. Okay, so video is here. Now we need to rotate it. So we click on rotate and then we go down and we click rotate 90 degrees and rotate video. And rotated video appeared here. Now we need to resize it. We click resize and new width is going to be 720 and new height is going to be 1280. Resize video. And now, now video got resized and we go down there and we click to IPNG. Here we click end time seconds to frame rate we click 20 and also this is important part don't animate output a sequence of PNG images so we click this and convert to a PNG so we got our PNG files now I'm scrolling down till the end of those files and I download frame as zip file. Let me see. I'm waiting for it to download. Okay. And now let's call it dust and scratches. Okay. And let's open it so we have the file. So we have our dust and scratches ready to go. Then we are going to Spark AR. I'm going to close this project because I want to show you. Just call it A. I want to show you like from the start. Let's open new project, blank project. I usually like to start with the face mesh just to add some beauty to the filters. So let's call it smoothing and let's add material material here I'm gonna make it bigger so it's better for you to see so material and let's call it smoothing and shader type it's gonna be retouching and let's put it to 25 and let's take away the full screen okay so we are done with our retouching and let's Keep, uh, start adding 
our scratches. So we are going even picking rectangle. So when we add rectangle, canvas appears automatically. So let's call it dust and scratches. And let's change the size to fill width. Didn't work again. And fill height. After that, I'm adding material, also clicking here on plus. And I'm going to call this material dust scratches. I have my material. And the next step, I'm going to, let me, because I'm going to add asset, and asset is going to be animation sequence. Let's call it animation sequence, dust, and scratches. Okay, so we have our sequence. Now we need to choose those PNG files that we uh, remember we download the video and we transfer those png files here so we did it together so let me pick all 40 files and we should wait because it's going to take time for those png files to get transformed and bring back to uh, to spark ar so waiting waiting and and after it's going to get done the program going to get done with this uh, you're going to see here in texture area, it's going to appear, those, those files going to appear here, so we should wait. Okay, so we have the file, yeah. and now we are going to, to the dust and scratches, and we are choosing material, and we are choosing our sequence. Now we see this nice files appeared here, but it's on the black screen. So we need to change blend mode. There's two options. You can choose add. Let me change to my picture so you can see on me also how it looks. So we can change add and we can also change to screen. So when it, when you have the add, it's kind of more like, like uh, solid and when you have on screen it's more like not that strong so I, I do add and I also can change the opac opacity I can make it less or, or stronger also if you click on S and S scratches here you can change how fast they move so you can for example put 10 and then those scratches gonna be much more slower also you can randomize so basically those pictures are there changing so they're not changing in the same direction they're going to be randomized randomizing changing okay so also we can let the user to change like have this like scroller on the left side and let them to decide how strong they want those uh dust and scratches appear for their filter in order to do that we need to and slider slider and when you try to add slider it says unsupported by facebook so we can click here edit the platform and just only instagram and click done and again add slider From slider, we need to drag and drag and pick multiplier. I mean multiply. And then we are going to dust and scratches, and we are picking this texture, and this texture appears on the screen. Adding here. And now we also need to click on the animation sequence and drag it here on the patch editor. Start volume, you need to put one, make it visible, and connect our scratches. And when you do that, uh, when you're going to test it on Instagram camera or on your own phone, you're going to see that you, are be able, you will be able to change the scratches from the like, top one to, like, to eliminate them at all. So it's kind of useful 
for your users to uh, have this feature so they can control how how they want the scratches to appear in on their uh, Instagram story. Thank you so much for watching and I have many other videos so if you uh, like this one please like it and subscribe and watch my other videos and have a good day.